All right, boys and gals, maybe, who knows? You never know who could be watching these videos, but it's time. Week 13 is here, and just because it is SEC Cupcake Week does not mean there is not any good games on the docket. There is some good stuff here. There is some juicy stuff we got to get into first. Um, obviously, there's a lot of you know, matching on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday nights during, you know, like November. So we're not even going to talk about that. There is some divisional stuff going on in the MAC as well. Um, lots of divisions have not been clinched yet. Um, Miami of Ohio has clinched uh, a division. Uh, Clemson, Georgia, and Oregon have clinched uh, division titles that will be going to their respective conference championship games. So, uh, let's break down these games, first of all. Obviously, um, Oklahoma State is still ranked. They still have an outside shot to get to the Big 12 championship. Now, will it happen? Probably not, uh, unless Baylor loses twice. Um, but they probably will not get in anyway because Baylor has the tiebreaker over Oklahoma State. Uh, so, but they are playing West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia is a tough out. So, you know, they beat Kansas State um, already, which I forgot to go over in the last video. But, uh, yeah, um, Minnesota's taking on Northwestern. That's going to be pretty interesting. You know, Minnesota has to get prepared. They cannot let this game slip away from them like they did with the Iowa game. They gotta, They got to win this game, win it decisively. Um, again, it's Cupcake Week, so Western Western Carolina is taking on Bama. Samford is going to Auburn. You know, not not the greatest slate there that starts off the day. Uh, but then we got Penn State taking on Ohio State, the unstoppable juggernaut that is Ohio State, taking on a Penn State defense that has really been suspect all season long, an offense led by Clifford who really has been kind of iffy at times. So this is going to be, you know, I've heard people say, heard some people say that this game is not going to be close. I disagree. Um, I completely disagree because if Penn State can get their act together, this game could be really, really close. This game could be, you know, and Penn State can't score. So, you know, don't, don't count them out completely. Do not count them out completely. Um, so keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on these Big Ten matchups um, at noon or eleven o'clock, depending on where you're at, or earlier. Um, don't even really care about these next two here. Both these games start at one thirty, uh, my time, two thirty on the East Coast. That's Notre Dame taking on Boston College, uh, and, and Appalachian State trying to wrap up the Sun Belt Eastern Division against Texas State. These two games really don't matter all that much. So, you know, it is what it is. USC, UCLA, that is also going to be very interesting. UCLA, um, it's not out of it. Not out of it yet. USC is also not out of it in the Pac 12 South. Remember, USC beat Utah. USC has the tiebreaker. If Utah loses, they beat UCLA. Oh, boy. We might be seeing Oregon versus USC again um, in the Pac in the Pac-12 championship on Friday on a Friday night. Um, also, keep an eye on SMU Navy um, as well. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, Virginia Tech is now probably going to be ranked in the CFPs uh, top twenty-five. They're taking on Pittsburgh. That's going to be for the Coastal Division title probably, um, unless something weird happens. Um, Again, there's a lot. There's a lot of cupcake games like Kentucky taking on Tennessee Martin. You know, it's the last week of the FCS regular season. It really doesn't these cupcake games that have been circulating for the longest time um, really kind of dour the mood when you know there's playoff implications on the line um, for the FCS, which we will talk about um, next uh, next Sunday. When those rankings, when those playoff matchups are revealed, there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about the FCS. And I haven't been able to all season long. 
Um, again, you know, keep on going here. Mercer's taking on North Carolina. Vanderbilt taking on East Tennessee State. Um, but then you get to the real nitty gritty right here, and that is Baylor taking on Texas, a struggling, bad defense offense with, that needs some work. Texas team that still can win, you know, still can earn a place in the Big 12 championship game. All we got to do is beat Baylor and then beat Texas Tech on the Friday after Thanksgiving. And if Baylor loses um, another game, then, oh, boy, we are going because we have the tiebreaker. If we beat Baylor, we have the tiebreaker over Baylor. We have the tiebreaker over Oklahoma State. We have to make sure that Iowa loses another game. We have to make sure that Baylor loses their final game against TCU, I want to say. No, they already played TCU. I don't know who they're playing on their last day, on their last game of the season. I want to say it's Texas Tech, but we are already playing Texas Tech, so I don't know who they're playing. I don't know who Baylor's playing on the last day of the season. We got to make sure we beat Baylor, but I doubt it. You know, Baylor is probably going to be angry uh, after you know uh, losing that game like that. But the other game that you have to really pay attention to in this time slot. Um, it is 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central time. Time slot is Texas A&M taking on Georgia. Now, Georgia's already locked up the SEC East, but at the same time, Texas A&M could play spoiler to both Georgia and to LSU. As Texas A&M has been quietly improving ever since their losses early in the season to Georgia, to Alabama and Clemson. Because, I mean, it was Alabama and Clemson early in the season. Of course, AM was going to lose both those games. Uh, but AM is improving. They're doing a lot better. And I hate to say it, I have to. I hate, I hate to say it, but I have to cheer for on AM just to get Georgia away, get them away from the playoff rankings, to get them out, get them eliminated. Georgia is a fraud. I'll continue to say it. They almost lost to its Auburn last week. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm hoping that AM can pull it off, you know, from a rival to a rival, um, from our former brother in arms. I use that term loosely because AM sucks. But AM, go out, do your job, beat Georgia next Saturday. There's also Michigan, Indiana, and in that same time frame, if you want to switch it up and get some more Big Ten on your um, plate, you know. And then there's also Purdue, Wisconsin, you know, and and Memphis, South Florida, but South Florida's not very good. Um, Keep on going here. Did you find all the interesting games right about here in the – Late window, the seven o'clock window, around that around that time, you know you got you got Herm Edwards and the Fighting Sun Devils of Arizona State taking on Oregon. Oregon is coming to Arizona State, and it is going to be fun. Are you firm for him? We haven't seen, we haven't heard anything about Arizona State in a while um, on this channel. Period. But Oregon has to play well. They have to be the same Oregon that dismantled um, Arizona and USC. Otherwise, otherwise Arizona State's going to exploit that and get a big upset. Could be fun. Could be fun. That's going to be a fun game to watch, let me tell you. Temple Cincinnati is also there. Remember, Temple is the same team that beat Memphis. Uh, So Cincinnati is scraping by these last couple of games here. They are scraping by Arkansas. Oh, God. Didn't they fire Chad Morris? They're taking on LSU, and it's not going to be pretty. I can guarantee that. Um, Mississippi State's taking on Appley Christian, so uh, disgusting. Disgusting matchup. Then, you know, you got Oklahoma taking on TCU. Now, TCU is a wishy-washy team. They'll play Baylor to the limit. They'll, They'll beat Texas, but then they'll lose, you know, to like Oklahoma State or something like that, they'll they'll lose a the game. They're just kind of wishy washy. 
Um, but if they play well and they can f- fluster Jalen Hurts to the point where they can actually keep the pedal on the gas, unlike Baylor and unlike Kansas State towards the end of that game, you know, they got to, they want to beat Oklahoma and get them out to play a pitcher. Um, all they got to do is fluster Jalen Hurts, you know, get, get him, you know, get him rattled. And if you're going to get a big lead on Oklahoma, you got to you gotta keep your foot on the gas. You even got a three-point lead. You got to keep your foot on the gas, and you got you to gotta stay fighting. Um, Boise State's been relegated to these 930 windows for a, the longest time now. So and they're taking on Utah State. Doesn't, it doesn't really matter all that much. Again, the, most of the division races haven't wrapped up yet. But... There is some delicious Pac-12 at the dark. We got we got Washington taking on Colorado. Remember Washington and Colorado? They were they were seemingly like way better teams at the beginning of the season. Now they're kind of struggling. But Utah is taking on Arizona, and if and if Utah, you know their defense gets rolling, you know you got Zach Moss and Tyler Huntley, you know that that balanced offensive attack of Utah's out there. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty for Arizona. They don't get something together. So, you know, that's that, that's going to do it, honestly. That's going to do it for our Week 13 preview. Um, we'll see you guys Tuesday night around 6.30 or so, like once, the play, um, like once the playoff rankings are revealed and I get my video, like, up and quick. Of course, you know, you got Monday which will be, um, or, or Tuesday rather, probably Tuesday. My week is a lot less busy. Who knows? I don't know if I'm even, who knows what in the world's going to happen, but my week is a lot less busy than it has been for a while. But, um, of course, Tuesday, probably around that time, we're going to talk about the NFL, you know, what in the world happened this week in the NFL, there's a game going on right now, but it's the Bears and the Rams, and I don't really care about that game at all. Um, we'll talk about the NFL, we'll talk about what, what's going to happen, you know, what happened this week, and what's going to happen next week, because it's going to be fun. And then um, the uh, preview for um, the, uh, the, um, the, the recap of the uh, rankings, the next rankings that are going to be revealed. It's not going to be any four-loss teams. It's probably going to be some three-loss teams in there. Um, Oklahoma is going to move up. Minnesota, down. I don't know how far down they're going to move down. Um, as far as anything else, um, I'm pretty sure at some point during the week where the playlist will be updated, the one – true playlist I have on my channel which will be updated with the next Objective Slant episode which you can watch for free on YouTube or on your televisions at Charter Charter Spectrum or Frontier or whatever whatever television service you have in the um, in the area or wherever you live um, and of course on YouTube live as well um, I may make a video talking about my show and what the future is going to be for that as well because that's that's time is running out my time here at the university of North texas is running out and i do not know what in the world's gonna happen um once i graduate so what we are gonna do here is wrap this up and we'll see you guys on tuesday peace